There we go. That was our little... Uh, R.I.P. Dick Dale. Yeah. Apologies if this video comes out a couple of weeks after he's passed away rather than immediately after. But yes, he literally passed away yesterday and we're doing the video today. Yeah. So he's a legend. But anyway... Happy Smiley Smiley. <laughs> Fender. Fender. Fender, 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 Fender. Who, Fender, 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 for Fender, years, Fender. all through my early days at Anderton's and even my medium days at Anderton's, just made shitty plastic rip-off pedals. Um, <laughs> never really took the pedal market terribly seriously. Mm. Never really had a famous pedal until... Until... Stan the Man, <laughs> the man. at NAMM 2018 went... Here you go. Take and these out. like the first, what were they like, six pedals maybe back then? Something like that, six, seven, and then I think they drip, drip fit a couple in there in the middle of the year. There they was did. like the pelt and there was a highway thing and yeah. we've got them over there. So there was another couple of you and Rob. The marine thingy. No, I think that was in the beginning, but I think they the did them and then in Beninging. So then they just dropped another one. I'll tell you what, and then better still, in, this the, year. In, the, in the description below we'll put a link to, to where you can find out more about those. But yes, yes. and so, so started Fender's journey into actually making good pedals. Um, not just good looking, which they absolutely are, but good, absolutely. good sounding and good value and just good. So well done Stan and anyone else in your team who designs these. But this year at the NAMM show, they introduced five more. Yeah, actually six more, because there is a base one there is a as base well, one. which we've got over there, but we'll do a separate video on that, I think. Yes, so Pete, yes. please, this feels like a, heavy towards the modulation yes uh what have we got that's here? as far what, as i can work out the from board? this yes. what's the so first one you would one? think that it would be th three because in danish this is tight so that's three so you think that's because there's three verbs but actually it's not <laughs> and it's because there's a tremolo and a reverb in one pedal it could be which that. seems to me like something i've seen before it's i guess if you talk about fe classic classic fender amplifiers yeah. uh, they've always had great reverbs and they've often had built-in tremolo beautiful so tremolo. this is kind of this is i think probably the closest kind of like effect that you would associate with but that's what they right? say that's what they say 50 63 65 and a plate reverb on the plate on the reverb side and they've got an um octo bias and hmm. <laughs> what <are laughs> harmonic the, hmm. oh the, harmonic hmm. it's harmonic, harmonic tremolo yeah that's so, my favorite supro one the harmonic tremolo. there you go Ooh. but um, what i was what i was leaning towards was that it looks like a pedal that somebody has made before strymo in, in a similar box yeah uh so and that that's what that does they're independent independent and one of them has got tap tempo if you hold I it i like down this watch can, this feature you can you can tap the tempo. You can tap the tempo of your tremolo. Of your tre tremolos, which is really cool. Hold it back down, and it's that's it. So here's a clean signal, just really quick. Shall I, shall I go through so, first, or should we do uh, one at a time? Just to give me the like, like what, are, like okay. what are the five things, and then we'll go in. Pinwheel. So, yeah. Leslie. Leslie. Yeah. The Leslie. Nice to meet you, Leslie. I'm Hi. Pete. Hi. Yeah, it's good to be. Uh, chorus. Uh, analog chorus. Bubbler. Bubbler chorus. That's, cool. so that's two choruses in one. Yeah. Right. Or it's the same. No, it's the same thing. You got yeah. You got two two speeds. rates of course. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Uh, phaser, which is back from the 60s, 70s. You know when when that all came in. So a four stage and an eight stage. Uh, two different sine waves. <laughs> What's wrong with that? <laughs> What's wrong with that? I'm Nothing not sure. wrong with a four stage or a or an eight stage. Well, an eight I don't stage. know. Taylor's got a dirty mind today. Yeah, yeah, there's, there's something going um, on over there. And, uh, and then it's a tube distortion developed with uh, Bruce Echinator. Good old Bruce. Yeah. He's got his finger Bruce. in every pie there is. Yeah, so well, there's every actually a pie anyway. <laughs> um, there is actually a, a tube, tube in inside there. there. I can't remember. It's called 6205 or 6802. I think it's a. It's a. Is it not a TUBE tube? Because that's what it says on the um, the pedal here. I think. So. <laughs> I'm winding you up now. Right, MTB. Okay, so right. here. Let's go back let's to the go verb. Clean. So we got clean, and uh, here's an E chord. We're running oh, into a Fender. Dry. It's so dry. Dry. It's like Sahara Desert. There's a Fender bass breaker 30 over there. There's a Rift amp on the floor, and it's a still oh setup. That's dry. So here's the 63. You've got blend, dwell. And the tone of the oh, reverb. Tone. It's a bit Where difficult get these, to see. You've got like these jumbo Fender patch these cables as well. Are they? Fender, so they came with it. Wow. So those, those are the they ones we're using. They are big, aren't they? Yeah. Literally looks like a fairy's legs with little <laughs> boots on the bottom <laughs> of them. <laughs> a fairy's leg. What is the? It's the. <laughs> 
What's the uh, Ben and Holly? That's what it it's is. Nice. That's what it is. That's ben, and Holly. ben and Holly. Ben and Holly. I'm going to put this one up like this. You can see Ben. And, if there was a little like person here, it's like this, like that with a head, like this. <laughs> Hello. Like this. Anyway, come on. <laughs> Quickly get my feet before I fall over. So, uh, <laughs> come on. Here's an equal. Ah. Reverb, sixty-three. So the dwell. It's kind of the length of it. Of it. Of it. I can't speak today. Blend There's is of course of reverb, how there? much reverb you want. But the dwell is the decay. decay yeah. And then the tone can be all the way up top. It's quite metallic sounding there, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, and bright, or it could be nice and dark. And that's where you get this, you know. I love it, but it's a bit I out of tune because there's new um, strings on this Fender Professional. So you've got a 63 and a 65. I'm guessing uh, that, um, I mean, obviously these are based on years, so amplifiers from 63 and 65. Would these have been based on like standalone reverb units that Fender made or, or the type of reverb tray that was in the amp? I think, it think? A, I think it's the amp, the, the trays and the sound. Well, let's let's the, have a little the, listen. You know, the then, sound that these amp from these if, years. If I put it uh, all at 12 o'clock and we'll compare 63. Yeah. And then 65. Bit more. Ah, yeah, they didn't really like clangy. reverbs as much in 65. I like 63, I think. I don't know. I don't know. It's a di distinctly different. And then the yeah. plate. That, like that sounds more like stereo Longer. effect, doesn't yeah. it? That seems to me like that's right. stereo. Have a listen to that. And 65. Invented stereo in 65, that's why. are going to leave the <sighs> reverb on it's nice for the whole video but but dialed back a bit so it's that's perfect okay so the tremolo and again we'll start with it on its optical mode and i'll fiddle with the knobs as pete's going you have got a little blue led just by my um finger here which indicates the speed and you can see as i turn the rate up what i really like about this is whatever you do to the speed, whether it's from tap tempo or from the knob here, it will, it smoothly goes up to the speed you want and back down again. You don't, you don't get this very hard kind of cut between the two. Anyway. And you can listen. still turn the, uh, you can still on the back here, there's the LEDs oh, yeah. for the top lights. If they, if get they too, annoy you. And there's a path as well, so you can go. What, true bypass? You can, no, you can go uh, tremolo into. Oh, I see. Or the other see. way around, didn't it? What yeah. are we on? So you would have, we, want we are reverb tremolo last, and reverb. Don't you? Well, we I want tremolo into reverb. Is it not the other way around? Reverb into tremolo. Is the tremolo last in an amp? No, I think the reverb's last. Okay, it? well that's how it runs now. Anyway, you can switch that okay. back and forth as you see fit. So here oh, we go. You. Optical, uh, optic, opto tremolo. <laughs> that's a light, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> Hard, yeah. Stop, isn't it? Let's, uh, let's go to the bias. Go to the bias mode. Okay, Do I'm biased. It. Yeah. But I think it's it's less uh, choppy, isn't it? It's yeah. It's a little bit smooth. I don't 
think that, I don't think that had tremolo on it, that song. <laughs> And then Phenolemon, the, the HM, which is pizza, I think you're right, harmonic tremolo. Yeah. And that's got much more like the chorus, the modulated kind of tremolo on it, yeah. the chorusy kind of effect. round of applause. Ooh, ooh, I don't think I've yeah. ever applauded a pedal before, <laughs> but I'm <laughs> literally applauding the pedal. That's well good. Done, well done, well done. Yeah, that's not... How low does Sounds it go? Sounds like a, a univibe. I bet if you want the really choppy, you go back to... Uh, no, now we can't show the video in Germany. No, we can't, sorry. Uh, now, what I do rather like is, and Pete uh, did mention this earlier on, what's very, very cool with this, if you want to adjust the tremolo on the fly while you're playing, fly. hold the tremolo button down for a couple of seconds till it starts to flash, and Gordon. then instead of using the rate control, you can just literally tap in how fast you want it to go. So that's the uh, and the, the hold the, you have to hold the, the uh, traver, which uh, nice we like a lot. Yeah. Next, next is the pinwheel. Pinwheel. I mean, the pi a wheel on a pin that turns around, and it is a Leslie effect. It's got three modes. It's got dr tr yeah three modes. It's got drive. So, so when drive, there's a preamp element to it. Yeah. Right? So, so if like you're a... so you can turn the drive down. Take a bit of a reverb down as well. Level as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Leslie does that. So yeah, it breaks the it, it does it just stops the wheel immediately. It seems to have a, a slightly weird switching thing going on here, which is that when you switch it, it goes from slow to fast straight away. But yeah. then if you want to go back to slow again, you kind of need to somehow hold it to sort of. No, I, no, no, you shouldn't be able to. It's just Uh, 
So it does it does what a Leslie does. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's how that that's how <laughs> So, what, so Lee, what does the, uh, the three modes? The, the three modes do. are just emulations of different kinds of Leslie's. So the, the first two are Leslie's and then the third one is a Fender um, style of Leslie speaker. Okay. Uh, the, the controls, again, these will be relatively familiar if you're into so, to, to Leslie's. Uh, the ramp is how fast it goes from the two different speeds. So how fast does it go from fast to slow and then back again. Fast and slow are the, the physical rates of the how fast the horn is spinning on each one of those. Um, a spinning horn. Do you know what? I don't, really, let's, I don't really know how to describe what sensitivity does. I mean, I'm quite sensitive, but I don't have a control. Have you got a sensitive horn? Input. Right. That's the input. When the it. slow mode is engaged, the sensitivity control adjusts the threshold for the pinwheel's dynamically controlled rate. As the sensitivity is turned clockwise, the pinwheel can automatically switch from slow to fast settings with the changes in your instrument's volume. Softer playing will keep the pinwheel set to your oh. slow settings. Louder playing will send the pinwheel ramping up to your fast settings. Ooh, oh. slow set. Ooh, oh. slow set. Turn the sensitivity control fully counterclockwise to disable this. So we want it all the way up. So we need to be in slow mode, which we yep, are. Yep. Now play soft. Oh, that was too, okay. Hang on, let's just, what I think, sorry, before you start. No, it's good, it's if good. it's all the way up, yeah. almost any level of playing is gonna kick it into fast mode. So if we have it here, you should be able to do it from your, so it should stay slow if you play soft. Anyway, and if that's cool, if that's all that control freaking. is not enough for you, you can stick an expression pedal in the side and control everything from a uh, one of those. That's cool, isn't it? It is I very like cool. I that's like very, it. Very it's very cool. authentic. Very, very, you know, very cool. people pay a lot of money for an authentic Leslie. You know, if you look at that Neo, is it called the um, Vent Mini the Vent? Vent? The mini Vent. It's like three hundred quid. Isn't yeah. It? How much are these? Like that. Yeah, that's one ninety nine. So uh, one ninety nine. Good price. Yeah, one ninety nine. It's a good price. It's a good price. And it stereo. Is. Stereo in, stereo out. Stereo out. in, then stereo out, which leads us on to the bubbler. Bubbler. It's ever so simple to use this one. Two chorus pedals. So turn this on, and you've basically got one side set to slow mode, one side with some different mm. controls, and you can set to the fast mode. I'm guessing the sensitive thing does the same sort of thing this time, which I is clever. I would think so. And two sine types waves. of sine waves, a triangular one and a more of like a, a wavy, snake. sort of angry eyebrow one. Yeah, snake yeah. one. Slow side. I like the I like I the like triangle. triangle mode. Triangle. Yeah. How do you make a triangle into a square? Add another side to it. You shave it. Yeah. <laughs> to the second side, make it a bit faster if we want. No, I'm not a key, I'm, I'm not, not a, so I'm always gonna, slow chorus. But you, let's but try you, the sensitivity thing, because I, I love the idea mm. that the softer you, the harder you play, the more it drives it into the, the fast mode. Yes, that's right, here we go. Thing 
that someone else has ever done. Because I love the I'm way that... I'm not sure that's a great idea. The, that first little bit that you did there where it really, you really mm. added an extra something into your... So I don't think you want it too fast because I okay. think that's just going to just, just yeah. sort of... Well, then you can tell, at least you can yeah, tell. Yeah, at least you can tell it's it doing. Very clever. Oh, that's so I cool, like it. man. I like it. What I like a good it. idea. What a good idea. Anyway, Lost Highway. Isn't that a Bon Jovi song? Is, Lost yeah. is it Lost Highway? I think so. It, lost it is. A, it is. A it's bon also Jovi a film song, I watched once. Is it? Uh, okay, loads of knobs on here. Rate one, depth one, rate two, depth two. Okay, that's pretty easy. Blend, feedback, four way, eight way, triangle snake. Uh, sensitivity. It's getting to the same sensitivity. These three kind of got the same things yeah. going through them, haven't they? So how about it's anywhere? Probably, it's probably the same computer the chip, just a different is. colour box shh, and different shh, writing on it. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> this is where you want that. Uh. Eight way. Eight way. Extreme, isn't it? Yeah. No, too much. Too much. That? I, I have. I haven't quite in my mind on the phaser decided whether or not the two different sort of speeds of it is, is usable. Like uh, I would say, just have one. Have one speed, but and let, then let's just try. Yeah, I. I, I, I sort of. I got it on the, the pinwheels, yes. made total and sense. That is the chorus cool. I sort of got a little bit more. The phaser I'm not, I think I just like one type of phaser. Let's try the sensitivity. Better. Are you sensitive? I am. Slow mode to make it work. So it might, that might be it, cool, where we keep the rate the same, but we just increase the depth the harder yeah, you play. Yeah, the depth, increase the depth. Yeah. Do you like the extra dimension it gives you? The, yeah, because I you think know. if you just got to play... Funky. Well, it's interesting. Funky monkey. It's interesting. Yeah. I've never really been a phaser guy. I've never been phased. What uh, setting do you tend to have your phaser on? Uh, Stun or kill? <laughs> <laughs> I'll have one for each, see? Like this one. <laughs> Fine. Have... Let's go tube distortion. Yeah, Bruce Egg now. Tour. Again, we've got on and off, we've got a boost control, which Boop. is these two controls here. We've got some EQ, treble middle bass. Mm -hmm. Tight. We've got the... Uh, who was that? Austin Powers. We are both schwingers, you see. <laughs> you have a toy body. Yes. I see that from your toy pants. 
Yes, you are tight like a tiger. Uh, tight. Tight mode. That's a tiger. Yes, so one MTG tube distortion equipped with a 6205 That's it, 6205. New old stock, don't you know? Yeah, not. Um, let's turn it on and see what happens. <laughs> You're right. I think they um, could have done that. You know what? I like a pedal where it sounds best with everything on 12 o'clock. And it kind of does. The EQ I really like at 12 o'clock. The tight, I've got to be honest with you, I think I'm, I'm preferring loose. So the tight, the tight rolls so What happens down. when you get older? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I like my jeans <laughs> loose. Uh, <laughs> Just try something with a humbug. Yeah, why don't you play a bit? Sorry, everybody. Just as you thought you were going to get to the end of a video only getting to hear a good guitar player, I come and spoiled it all for you. Just going into my... That's a humbugger. Oh, hello. Oh, sorry. Yeah, put the big tremolo on. Yeah. 
I just like it. It sounds good, doesn't it? I liked that as well. I did enjoy that. It's got that scent peak on it. Oh man! All day long. I could. Okay, fair play, Fender. We got some weirdy pedals here, but it's. It, do you know what? The ADL pedals. The, this is the new category for us. ADL man. All day long. So when a, long. when a pedal's good, like the Strymon Volante, like some of these. You know where that like, came from? That uh, came from the uh, light speed. All day long. That's what the first time I said. Yeah. All day long. It's an all day long pedal. Again, hashtag all day long. Hashtag all day long. ADL. Fair enough, man. Yeah. Well, look, price well wise, done. I should tell you, uh, they're, they're all sort of somewhere between 100 and 200 pounds, I believe. Um, but I shall tell you exactly. Obviously, if you don't live in the UK, none of this will make any sense. But if you live in the UK, the tray verb, as uh, Pete remarkably said, not only uh, do you get three different types of reverb, uh, but they throw in the tremolo for free. That's $199. The pinwheel is $199. The bubbler chorus is bubbling up at a nice 119 pounds. Oh, that's not so bad. One, one nine. That's the right. Lost Highway, bonus point now if you can sing Lost Highway by Bon Jovi, uh, is also 119 pounds. Really? And the MTG tube distortion pedal is 159 pounds. But anyway, and links in the description below because prices go up and down all the bleeding time. So actually, that's just what these were today. When you're watching this video, they might be different. So look in the links below and you'll find out. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Yes, thank you there's for watching. There's nothing else to say, is there? There's nothing else to no. say. We'll be back when there's more Fender Pearls coming. Stan, you the man. Come over to the UK. We, we, won. we talked about that. Come on, let's come on. Yeah. Right, bye-bye. The one we were playing in the beginning was to say, Tre verb, yeah. which uh, th I can imagine that's three, because there's three different no, types of reverbs. because it's tremolo on one side and reverb on the other. Oh! <laughs> Would you like a schmuck and a pancake? <laughs> Flapjack and a cigarette? Oh my god! Sugar and a waffle? That's my French then <laughs> coming in. Pipe and a crepe? Okay, let me just go and uh, kill myself. <laughs> And there is no pleasing you. <laughs> oh my god!